Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you guys another car face-off. So I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, actually, I just haven't been able to post them, but with the new update and everything, I figured I'd post this one before I post uh, the other ones that I have lined up. So basically, this one is going to be the Aftershock versus the Dominus. So as per usual, in the beginning of the video, I will read off the stats and stuff, and then I'll play two games, one with each. So... Since the Aftershock is a new car, I don't particularly have the stats for it, but I can give you my best roundabout of what I believe they are. So, uh, for the Dominus, I can just go through normal. Uh, the rank is 3, the maneuvering is 17, the hitbox is 17, the turning radius is 4, the boost radius is 3, the power slide is 7, the boost power slide is three. Um, um etwas zu erreichen, musst du an dich glauben. Genau. Sorry about that guys. Uh, I don't know if my a video just started randomly playing in the background and scared the shit out of me. Uh, as I was saying, the boost power slide is three and the height of the hitbox is eight and the width is nine. So, I would say for the Aftershock, it would be ranked somewhere between a 2 and a 3. Uh, probably more towards the 2 side. The Maneuvering is probably a little bit better than Dominus, so I'd give it like a, a 16. The Hitbox, uh, I would give it more of something, maybe more aligned of a... More of like a 19 to a 20. Keep in mind that the highest Hitbox is a 25, which is the Hot Shot. Oh, no, not the Hot Shot, uh, which... I believe it's like 30, which is the mark or something like that. Um, so I think it's a little bit better than the Dominus and a little bit better than the Octane hitbox, but not extraordinarily better. The turning radius, uh, I'd give it, yeah, somewhere around the same as the Dominus, like a 4 or 5, maybe a little bit worse. Um, the, boost ra the boost radius is probably somewhere around like a 2 or a 3. Uh, the power slide is I would say pretty low I would say probably somewhere out of five so a couple points lower than the Dominus uh, the boost power slide I would say is somewhere maybe around a three just like the Dominus I don't think it changes it much and the height of it I would say is probably more around like a 12 instead of an eight and the the width is a nine just like the Dominus and the length of the, is the same as the Dominus the only big difference is it has the point on the front so let me just close my little notebook of information. So, this is the car. Um, you get this in the collector's edition of the game, or it comes out, I believe, like the 12th or something. Uh, I'll go through all the details. It's got this detail, which is pretty cool. Copycat. I like all the details for it. Um, this is called M-I-R-V, which is also a pretty cool one. I like this one as well. Systematic, which is... um. It doesn't say systematic. I'm sorry about that, but seismic. It's pretty much like a earthquake rumble. Tiger, which is pretty cool. It's got this guy with the beard in the back, which is pretty fun. Tribal, which is a pretty cool design on it. And wings is just pretty standard, although it looks kind of cool. So I usually use tiger. Um, and this is basically how I use my car. So uh, I'll be right back with you guys when I get into a game. All right, hello everyone. We are in the match right now, and we're on a normal map, uh, unlike my previous game where I found Neo Tokyo, which is not particularly the map I wanted to do this on. I don't want to do it on any new or different maps. I want to do it on just normal map, so you can get pretty normal views on it. Oh, he committed to that. Oh my god. I fucked up. I went to drop it for him, but then I didn't see that he was just gonna fly up for that. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, really? Yeah, that makes no sense why his kickoff did that, but okay. Um, so about the aftershock. Uh, I like the shape of the car. I like the hitbox. 
the one thing I must say, the one downfall to it is it's like hitbox on the nose. Not like anything else. The top is nice. You know, the ball does kind of slick up it a little bit. I don't know why he's just sitting in goal. Okay, my weird teammate. But the one hard thing is sometimes to shoot a straight ball, it takes a little effort because, well, the nose is just a big traffic cone in the way. It's something to get used to, but it's also a big advantage, too. I can't believe I didn't get that. Because sometimes using the cone to, like, side hit it, in a certain way, you can really like launch the ball with it. That made no sense whatsoever. I don't know why my car wouldn't just land on the ground. It just, yep, okay. That's totally not what happened, but. Gretchen out again. So the cone does just give you that little extra height that you could possibly need to kind of flick it over. See, if you see it just a little bit there next to the octane, you can tell that it's a little bit longer than it, but it's kind of the same height. But with it being the same height, it does not have the same hitbox in the front. Just because it's not sloped the same, you know? Let's see what this guy does. So we didn't have such a great start, but you know, my teammate wasn't so defensive sometimes and took an actual shot. We didn't have more of a chance of getting a goal, but it's okay, because he scored. So he's using a new car, I think that's called the Mazurumri, Mus I can't pronounce that one. Um, that's one of the harder to say ones. But that's a good car as well. Uh, I don't really like it too much because it flips so slow. But besides from that, I think that car is pretty good as well. Alright, there we go. He's good at it. So, I think they're... Oh. That came really fast down. Not expecting that. That's my bad. So, obviously, let's the Baba guy is there better player and their teammate. I don't know, can you like come at a goal not three minutes late? Thank you. He really, my teammate is very, 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 very patient. He's a little bit off on that one. But it's okay. We came back. That's all that matters. It's a game again. Instead of a blowout. I keep on repetitively opening the scoreboard. It's really not good. Um, also, the car's a little bit different than anything else dribbling-wise, because I'm still trying to get used to dribbling with it. You just have to learn a couple different like techniques and stuff to it, and I think once you learn that, it can be pretty effective. It's got a pretty good, like, what would I call this? Um, ooh. That was my bad. It's got a pretty effective tail flip. Like, um, you basically, if you really don't have any boost and you need to get the ball out of there, to catapult the ball. Not quite. It's almost a really good play. Uh, uh, there we go. It's also got a nice, I don't know, I like the car the most. This is, this is definitely my favorite car so far in um, any recent DLCs. Obviously, one of my other favorite cars is the Dominus, in fact. But this car, I think, now does surpass the Dominus. Because it really does give me that nice... Okay, wow, that's a nice hit. Uh, that nice, like, 
mix between the Dominus and Octane, that thing that I was looking for. Oh no, I should have got that. Let's see if I can. I hit downwards. That was stupid. See, one thing, he's playing defensive, so he'll be there. Sort of. No, he won't be there. He sits in goal and then does not defend the goal. Like, may I ask you, what are you doing? You have one job. If you're not going to play offense, do at least an okay job on defense. Well, this was a close game. The question is, is Mike going to be... Oh, is he going? He's going for it. Holy shit, he got a lucky pinch. Wow. Okay. Look at him. See? All he's got to do is leave goal. Look at him. He comes right at a goal and just owns the other team. I'll sit back. I'll let him do all the work. I get so nervous on these last, like, kickoff plays with these little, little time left. Oh, <laughs> for that exact reason. Okay, this was a this was a ball game and a half. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay, that's it. He hit it on the ground. There we go. GG. Well played. Okay, so that's been the game with aftershock. That was a little bit of a stressful game. Um, so next game will be with the Dominus. So I'll be right back when we are in the game with the Dominus. All right, hello everyone. We're back in our game, and we are playing with Dominus. I look like I don't even know what that is. It's such a weird. It's like the inside of a watermelon, and my little light blue that I play of. Uh, there you go, Floppy. Who was I was gonna ask if you want to be in this video? Finally answering me, like you know, half an hour later. Not even. It's been longer than that. It's been almost like an hour since I've tried to talk to him. But, Dominus, um, you guys know the Dominus pretty well. I don't really have to explain it like I did go through with the Aftershock. I've talked about it in plenty of my other ones, other videos, and I'm sure you guys have mostly used it. Uh, great car, great all-around car, you know, very smooth surface. It's like a big paddleboard. Uh, flies pretty well, turns pretty well, jumps a little slow. Uh, the turn radius is nice, and, you know, it's... Again, picking your car is all about comfort, so, yeah, I could be saying all these things about the car, but if you're not comfortable using it, there's no point of listening to me, because that's the main thing. Not all the shit that I'm jibber-jabbering about it. Let's see if he can get a nice, ooh. Alright, <laughs> we're just going to keep on passing it back and forth. One of us will eventually make a goal. Let's see. No, that was such a slow. <laughs> that was such a bad shot, but it's okay. It worked out. Um, the other thing, the downfall between the aftershock, it's really expensive to get it right now. Uh, you have to get the collector's edition of the game, which is um, a bit more money than what it's usually. I know it gives you four cars, but it's like twenty bucks instead of four bucks. <laughs> but it will be coming out shortly. Oh no, I shouldn't have missed that. That was terrible. And the Dominus is just a short DLC. You guys can go look it in the showroom and check it out in the little cool no way, cool new way they put in to like look at your DLC cars. And yeah, flip that over me. Got a very interesting clip. Sorry, I didn't mean to say wow. I hate doing that. See, like I didn't think he was gonna hit that. But look, the Dominus prevails <laughs> to beat the other Dominus isn't such a good thing, but why that flips so high up? No, 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 and no. <laughs> um, so basically, 
what I want to do is fill you guys in on a couple things that come up in my channel. Um, so I'm going to be starting like player made map of the weeks pretty soon. Uh, basically, that will probably come out. I think I'm going to do it every... Oh, jeez, I just got some really bad lag in there. That will come out pretty much every Friday. And every week I'll do the, you know, the best user created map that I've seen this week. And at the end of every video I'll every map of the week video or any video you guys can send me an email or something with any maps that you've created and I'll check them out and put them in the contest for map of the week so I think that would be a pretty fun and cool new way to go and show off you know some new and cool created user created maps and kinda of support the whole community with it because you know it's just starting and everyone's just starting to make maps and stuff there's some pretty cool ones out already the one I have planned for this week is already pretty cool um, it's one of my friends he's also a subscriber to the channel you know he's been around for a little while he's been asking me how to do like that whole UDK thing that we've been that basically is the map creating for a while so he's pretty excited when we figured it out and now he's made a pretty cool map and it should be it's gonna be spotlighted on map of the week Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I will. I should probably have some Vive like stuff coming out soon because I have a video of me unboxing the Vive. I'm also doing it with my girlfriend, and a lot of the Vive videos might just be with my girlfriend and stuff. She might be playing with me, and uh, figured it'd be fun to have someone else play with me. It's kind of boring just watching me play. I mean, some games will probably just be me, but I'll have some first impression videos and stuff like that of some certain games. I'm definitely really enjoying the Vive. It's really worth the money that I paid for it. No. Okay, back to this game. It's 2-1 now, 38 seconds. Well, I guess we'll just have to come back again. I feel like in car face-offs, I always go 2 for 2. I don't want to go 2 for 1. It's no fun. There we go. <laughs> that came off nice and quick. Oh, he rammed the guy too. Look at that. Team play. It's crucial. Because, you know, it's, in spite of it being a car face off, you know, you got to win both games. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so, it'd be so proper. shit. Oh, he saved it. Alright, okay. Because I flopped there. Oh, and he scored. <laughs> In the last 10 seconds, just like the other game. And there's a forfeit. G GG. Well played again. Okay, so that's been... <laughs> Ooh, div up from that, too. Yay! I'm almost to shooting star, I believe, is the next one. Oh, wow, they were really, really low. Even though the people I just played before that was higher. So... That's been this episode of Car Face Off. I thought this would be pretty interesting, uh, kind of face off, face off, kind of like mixed because you know it's very much said that the uh, aftershock and dominus have very similar hitboxes, so you guys can see uh, firsthand what the differences may be because I don't believe they're exactly the same, but I do believe they're very similar. So, uh, other car face-off video that I have coming is the Roadhog versus the Octane, which I thought would be a pretty fun, interesting one. And I also want the Breakout versus the Dominus will be a next one coming up as well. And the map of the week is coming, some Vive stuff, and maybe, uh, I usually play in Mach 2v2 tournaments every Wednesday, so maybe some gameplay from that as well. If we, uh, you know, do a little bit better, usually my second game is against Mocket itself, so it gets a little complicated. Um... So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.